So shouldn't we revert to that 200 level that we were trading at prior to them shorting down from December, Feb? Uh, close. I, I, th I think we'll see a test of, uh, you know, I think a test of 180 is possible. I, I just think it's less likely than, you know, uh, our, our local high, which will be averaged out probably around 150, 160. Why aren't you as bullish as Linuxus? Is he less tempered by Yelia's GN GM data? Maybe. <clears throat> He's also just very excitable. What are your thoughts on the 1032 volume spike on the spy? This? It's something. I don't know. Look at the 8 million volume. I don't think it's a sell-off. Could be a, just a really big straddle. So this kind of shit happens on the SPY a lot because massive options positions are taken on it all the time. Um, and, and when those are hedged, you know, you get a lot of volume, but you don't necessarily get a lot of price action. So some short, sort of, it looks like some sort of net short position. I mean, this could also just be a long buy-in. Right. This could just be buying against against the drop in price. And this could be like the evidence of a turnaround point occurring. Remember, institutions buy when everyone's selling and they sell when everyone's buying. That's why they're smart money. Say they moved everything from Jan to now. Seems like we should see more than 140, 160. That's a lot of exposure. We could. But you know what the, the beauty of that is, is that there's generally, if exposure continues past OPEX, there is a period of IV crush that occurs. I think you were downplaying the price action we see, can see coming in the next week or two. Play it safe in case they dodge. But if we rock it, you're still right. I mean, I know. No, I'm playing it safe because I want people to be aware of the risk. I know, I know lots of people are carrying options contracts right now. And let's try to temper expectations in order to avoid another Freg's Day scenario, forever known as Girk's Birthday Massacre. Um, <clears throat> I don't want people to be waiting on a MOAS that may never come um, and lose their profits that they have taken the risk to obtain. And you can and you can play this cycle very profitably, regardless of the outcome. If Moas happens, you have stock, right? If you only own options, that's another story. But I, I don't think that's the case for basically anybody here. <clears throat>